So I don't care if she's Aaron times two times three. If she becomes Aaron with a heart, if she joins their team and saves Aaron's life. At this point, you have taken the life of an innocent, of an innocent child who killed Carlo and watched his neck hang at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> Bro, listen. Sasha. At the, yeah. If, if Mikasa's life was in danger and the only person that could save her was Gabby and Gabby did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that, is that redemption worthy? What does <laughs> okay. she got to do? That, all right, that's the only way. But she has to die. Like literally, she, she can't, <laughs> uh, it has she to be like, self-sacrificial. It can't just be. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Fair. Like, she, I'm, I'm fair. Talking about, can't like three Mikasa or season two and one Mikasa because there's a difference. Oh, <laughs> true. Still, he still sounds you know. Welcome back to Sasaga Yo Sundays. On this show, we're discussing the current season of Attack on Titan. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Ku. Yo. Next, we have Justin. Hey, everybody. Next, we have Taylor. Oh, Taylor, you cut off. Can you say that again one more time? Hello. Okay. Then next, we have Sasha. Shinzo Wo. And finally, we have Brian. Sasaga Yo. Alright, yeah. thanks guys. And I'll guest appearances by Stratton too. Thanks man, it always feels nice to be included. <laughs> yes. Alright, so... So this episode, basically one topic is just going to dominate the conversation, so I'm just going to leave with that. And I think Sasha is the best person to start us off with, so why don't you take away, sir? Alright guys, hashtag to be... To be PGF Gabby. Listen, I've hated Gabby since the beginning. Um, and this just it, it adds even more hate. However, however, to be fair to... Uh, what's the guy? Is, is it Isayama? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yep. To be fair, this was foreshadowed. And it was... It was like episode three or four, maybe a little bit later, when you know she stared her down. But just the way she went out. Just the way. It's just like, dude, you're in front of your whole crew. Everyone's celebrating. All you want is a potato and some meat. And you straight through oh my gosh straight through what was it like the the breastplate ah just just atrocious you know at this point if those all those people when they ended up bum rushing gabby and punching her in the face and kicking her if she would have ended up like that one guy who looks like hanji's cousin i I would have i would have loved it i would have been like yes greatest show ever but because she lived i'm gonna give this episode a five out of ten so (laughs) That's all I gotta say about that. There it is. Well, we wish out to Cuckoo. Five for... out of ten. Cuckoo called it, man. Yep. Like, <laughs> yep. <sighs> so easy, guys. When you're a prophet, <laughs> you know, just come. <laughs> yeah, no, it's. Uh, I gotta say though, um, with how the show is, it definitely lets you know that you gotta pay attention to every small detail. And I also have to say. I would not recommend watching the previews for the next week's episode. Oh, I didn't. Because it definitely, so. Yeah, so last week they, they gave you a preview of uh, Gabby hopping on a ship. They didn't sh- oh. uh, showcase her shooting anyone, but she was able to get on, a, on, the, on the ship. And then I just Damn. added that with the fact that, you know, when you don't finish the job and you leave loose ends, uh, it's going to bite you in the ass. And it looks like it did. I thought she was just going to shoot anyone in particular, but it was – uh sasha that you know since she didn't shoot her she shot her mm-hmm. and that's where we are so but, yeah man, that was nuts though so i'll say that like um i understand like I, so yes i understand why everyone's pissed off at gabby and like i like i'm pissed off too but i understand why her character did that just because like she's been so brainwashed into thinking that like you know they're the devils and they're the enemy so i, I understand why like this whole situation happened but at the same time, I do understand why everyone else is really pissed at Gabby because she'd get off a fan favorite. So, Dude, uh, man. Let, let's just get this out of the way. I get it. Objectively, Gabby is pretty much Aaron, but from the other side. I get it. Mm. Completely justifiable. Subjectively, I can't stand her. I hate her guts. <laughs> she yeah. bombed three times over, okay? So I don't care if she's Aaron times two times three, if she becomes Aaron with a heart, if she joins their team and saves Aaron's life. At this point, you have taken the life of an innocent, of an innocent child who killed Carlo and watched his neck hang at a 45-degree angle. <laughs> Bro, listen. Sasha. At the, yeah. 
if if Mikasa's life was in danger and the only person that could save her was Gabby and Gabby did it. <laughs> Ow, that, is that redemption Mikasa. worthy? What is she, she got to do? <laughs> that, all right, that is the only way, but she has to die. Like, literally, she, 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 uh, she it has, has to, like, to be self sacrificial. It can't just be, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Fair. Like, I, I, I'm Fair. talking about can't, like, three Mikasa or season two and one Mikasa. Because there's a difference. Oh, <laughs> true. Have, he sells You know? <laughs> if it's season three, eh, I, I still would I mean, still be happy. You know, if saying? you watch the preview for next week, Mikasa's hair looks like it is getting better. So, ooh, you got you that. wow! Oh, I didn't. She got the real game. So. Right. Yeah, right. I, I say <laughs> that. But I also don't watch the previews because to Ku's point, I feel like that's one thing that Attack on Titan, especially this season, the previews have been so spoiler heavy. Yeah. Not like like relatively obvious but they just always take it one step too far and as a monger it's that's, like that's why why did you show that last week's mm-hmm. a preview so i was like this week is okay i'm gonna make sure i don't watch it this week well yeah they gave you the preview and then they give you the title assassin's bullet which yeah. fairly oh, enough yeah, is, right. it, it is it is the name that is the name of the chapter i just the, picked that series. too i was like oh but, yeah but so still it's just like okay to you know the coos point's like okay we see gabby they had that you know standoff from last episode where they look at each other hmm Gabby's on the airship. Hmm. Assassin. Hmm. You know, it's like, come on. That's one of the things that, like, thankfully, as a manga reader, there wasn't any preview chapter or anything like that. It's like, you just come in hot. <laughs> so, you know, I blame Attack on Titans for having a good uh, end credit song because mm-hmm. I usually let it. Yeah, play that's the out. problem. You're always sticking around, and then it's like the preview, and you're like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> it's like, no, as well. Yeah. yeah. That, that ending song is really great. Like, I could just listen to it over and over. Oh, I do. The yeah. full version? Oof. Yep, I added it to good. my playlist. Um, Needed to be done. So the only thing I'll say, too, is because I know we had the whole thing with, with Gabby, but the only thing I mentioned is just Zeke. I was not expecting Zeke to show up there in that airship. Even though, I guess, oh, yeah. like, when I think about it, like, I guess it kind of does make sense. Like, he would be in on this. Because I also, I was really, like, I was just, like, wondering, like, like you know, what, what was this whole deal? Like, like, he seems like the type of guy who wants to liberate the Eldians, so why is he working so hard to work for Marley? And then when I saw him, I was like, oh, like I was surprised, but at the same time, I was like, actually, this does make sense. So, I guess, I does guess. it really though? To me, it doesn't make sense. It's so wait, dude, he could be playing quick, the long game. Because that's I was, what I was thinking. Yeah, I think playing a long game. I was kind of lost. So is Zeke officially like trying to help guy? Paradise Island? Trying to what with Paradise Island? Help, help them. Yep. We because they're aliens, bro. Mm. Yeah, I'd say it's still in the air. We don't know. There's not yeah. enough. He's yeah. obviously working with them. He obviously is not fully aligned with Marley. Those are what mm-hmm. we know right now. Yeah. Okay. Cause... Man, why did he yeah. like set up his parents? Like, why did he? His past actions doesn't make sense with what he's doing. That right part now. still doesn't make well, sense to me. But um, the earlier we've all like, made uh, mistakes, right? The, the earlier episodes of this season, when he was under suspicion of um the other Marley like military military crew because like, they were um wiring his room like now that actually makes sense because like because i because we find mm-hmm. out now he was working with like the paradise crew mm-hmm. all of that stuff with him will be all fully explained you won't be like yeah. confused or anything it's like very thoroughly explained yep okay in oh, due time no. although mm-hmm. i just uh i just want to ask is that the reason why uh in the last episode he was kind of referencing time and is that why levy was looking at a stopwatch because they're supposed to do it within a certain time frame and then go back to the ship yeah they did mention that they actually mentioned how he was like oh i had to improvise and delay a little bit stall by throwing extra rocks at the Mm -hmm. uh, or rubble that's a good point it could have been yeah i thought it definitely was yeah, like so they were. I mean, they were all coordinating together. their attacks. So yeah, mm-hmm. true, true. Hmm, okay. Yep. Because yeah. I think that was right before Levi actually did his little kill of Zeke. But I knew or for whatever reason, yeah, like, correct. Yeah, yeah, kidnap. It just it felt too sudden to see Zeke die, quote unquote. So that's why my instinctually I'm like, okay, is he dead or what's going on? Because this just feels like for a character that's so vital to the story, being obviously Grisha's son and then Aaron's half brother it didn't make sense to have him just die in the battlefield and like that's that so mm-hmm. one part of me was like okay maybe that's just attack on titan being attack on titan like that's that's you know that's war but then the other part of me was like 
bro, that just doesn't make sense from a character arc standpoint, someone who's so vital to the story. So mm. I wasn't surprised to see him there, honestly. Like, nothing in this episode surprised me, quote unquote. And I'm not saying that to be cool. I'm just saying that because the foreshadowing was there with Gabby's incident. I thought the way she got on the airship was you know, a little bit stretchy, just like that. Uh, the ODM gear. I mean, there's like no official. We don't know how far that stuff can shoot. But it felt like she was sitting there, like deciding what to do for a yeah. solid minute. And the guy's dead yeah. body was just like lingering there. Yeah. <laughs> and no one noticed. I mean, no, or Commander Lobbo or whatever. <laughs> why, why did they have the only fat guy die too? What did they have against fat people, yeah, bro? That was a, definitely a plot convenience from Isayama of just like, he's not a you know trained veteran. He came from the military corps who uh -huh. admittedly in the first few seasons didn't really do anything at the end of the day. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a good gonna, convenience. <laughs> if you're gonna pick on that, how far are you gonna pick? Like, I mean, I know. You know, this, yeah, this gear I can pick they're using is exactly hey, like. Hey, <laughs> if he wasn't so awful. fat, he would have got hit by the bullet. Sasha would have died. So, so fuck, yeah. man. Come Everything on. was just mm, <laughs> fuck that guy. Okay. <laughs> fuck that Seriously, guy. <laughs> she should have never been hired. <laughs> you know oh, damn yeah. well those uh those three D gear was not able to you know like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, that is fat him. shaming. Okay. As a fellow fat man, I can say what he I He had want. the XL all right. version, all right? It was supported right. for <laughs> higher weights. They gave him a bigger how a bigger gear box. That, how, how that belt and that suit fit on the guy? I have no idea, bro. Dude. Dude. <laughs> so it wasn't body tight like everybody else's, too. I don't know, man. You know, Custom uh, tailored. Uh, Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, this Rumor is why there, there's a weight limitation, sir. All right. <laughs> Mappa actually deleted a part for a, it was like a tiny bit. Not many fans noticed, uh, but mm. there were some cinnamon rolls that came out of his suit. As his oh, body. that's what he was hoarding in there. <laughs> cinnamon rolls bad. back in the day. Holy shit! Oh, bro. dude, is that that's why he hesitated? It wasn't because uh, Gabby was a girl. It's because his cinnamon roll was falling out of his pocket, so he didn't shoot her. <laughs> He, he had a little bit of that frosting. He's like, oh fingers. no! He's like, oh, <laughs> oh shit! Just gets one tapped. Oh, man. Yep. Uh, Fucking fat people, man. I have a qu so is Aaron like doing his own fucking shit, dude? Aaron, so, that's that's like, what I was gonna ask go about you guys. Is what is your thoughts on Aaron of it's, what we've seen, you okay. know, in Marley, and then everybody once he's gotten on the ship now? It sounds like so. What I'm thinking, it sounds like Aaron. He had one plan or idea he wanted to do, but like no one backed him up, or they thought it was too crazy, and he was like, "Fuck it, I'm I'm the founding titan. I can do whatever I want. So I'm just gonna go." Mm. And force them to, to or or he, or he was thinking like oh like they just don't know like how they just don't know like how good it'll be out we'll just force it this way and it'll all work out in the end and now it's just the real like when I guess Sasha dying is just like the reality of like you know I think it's the reality of like oh there's there has to be there's actually consequences to my actions like I think that's finally hitting him now so that's yeah just, I think the. The great thing cool? in this episode, too, that we see is, like, all of the interactions with Aaron as he's getting on the airship. You know, even when he zips up with Mikasa, Armin kind of looking at him and having this look of just, like, what did you make us do? Like, are, are you satisfied with it. this? And, and like, he let reluctantly, him yeah. And, and I think even it pans quickly to Mikasa, who's, like, looking the other way mm -hmm. out of shame for like, what yeah. they've I love done. when Levi kicks Ooh. him. It's like the throwback. <laughs> Yep, and he's just like, you're still a piece of shit. You remind you me of the such, people in the underground. Like, <laughs> I yep. think the best. I think the best line was the one that Hanji said, where she was like, "You put all of your trust in us, and we lost all of our trust in yes, you." Yes, a hundred percent. I thought that line um, was really good and pretty much summed up the whole situation very succinctly. Yeah, and I think yeah. even too, you know, when when Connie comes in and lets them know the news, and Aaron mm -hmm. just asks, you know, what were her final words, and and Connie says, you know, meet. And then Aaron has that moment where his eyes widen, they get that real close shot, and then he starts kind of going into like a manic laughter of just realizing, you know, again, like you guys said, his actions have consequences. What he did led to this, you know, untimely death of Sasha and that, you know, her aspirations and everything are just gone like that. And he remembers, you know, the time as a cadet when they when she stole the meat and he's thinking like it's ironic that she said meat as her last word and that's what she wanted to you know, strive towards having a land of sheep and, you know, cows or whatever and just live a, a good life. Mm. So, you know, sucks to suck. That's all I got to say about that. Oh. Um, wow. But, yeah, man. Man. Okay, yo, man. man. I, I don't know yo, that guy down yo, there. Yo, like, this guy. Uh... On you. Like, I was with you, bro, but man, that's a little too far, bro. You dare talk to oh, okay. Potato Girl? So, Dude, you guys have the same name, bro. Come on. Yo, I just got to say, before Aaron gets all this 
hate and uh he's he's pinned as the bad guy i think he's being mistreated honestly um in all seriousness i think aaron is just being misjudged because of the mental weight the psychological weight that he has to carry that no one else realizes if you think about what this guy's been through someone breaks into his village his dad runs away he gives him a shot that transforms him into a titan he has he's unaware of how any of this works his mom is eaten by a titan that's from a royal family he he has nothing to do with any of this right um and then Basically, he's thrown into the war and he's treated as a guinea pig. He gets beat up by Levi the very first time he meets him, right? He does everything he can to sacrifice himself for his comrades. And I think the big thing we're missing here is his ability to visualize and to see what's happened. And I think oh. what's going to happen... Oh, yeah. No, go ahead. No, I think the big thing we're misinterpreting and why I think this episode was not about Sasha in all honesty. Like her character is nice and all that, but let's be honest, like she dies, she dies. So be it. Um, there might be a lot of fans that like her, but ultimately she's a B character. The A cast is what makes the show. And I think the level of disgust you see, like that stuff's really good because it shows what Aaron has to do and he's not going to make friends and people are not going to like him. And he's going to have the deaths of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands or millions on his hands. But he's trying to push through it because he's like, bro, I know what's going to happen. I've seen what's going to happen. You guys got to trust me. And I feel like this is that point where everyone's like, dude, we can't do this anymore. We're losing all our good people. We don't even know if this is worth fighting for. I think at the end of the day, though, like Aaron has always shown his heart is the right place. But sometimes he goes a little cray. And uh, I actually, actually, this is the episode where I felt bad for him. I felt bad for him because he's alienated by the people he's devoted his entire life to protect and to try to um, pursue the liberty and happiness of the Eldian people. And now this is what he has to do. He has to suffer through all this pain and agony on top of disrespect and distrust from the people he loves the most. Mic drop. You know what, Sasha? <laughs> I think that was beautifully said and 100%. I agree with absolutely every single word you said, even on chapter 136 we're on. I still agree with everything that you said. <laughs> Damn. Uh, thank you. Thank you. For me, I'll there. I, I don't know. For me, I think I need to see more perspective from what happened from um, like Levi and, and Hanji. Like I, I kinda wanna know like what, what was why they disagreed so much before I like get on Aaron's side. Just cause like I don't know. I think I'm just lacking that information before I can give him more sympathy. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's years of stuff that's happened that you guys have to get caught up on. Yeah, so. I mean, I suppose. But then to that point, though, uh, like David said, since we don't really know what happened, just the fact that, you know, Aaron was kind of just doing his own thing, going commando in a sense, or going rogue, uh, we can't really say that he's relatable or you feel for the guy until we know exactly the whole story. I just want to know, like, <laughs> if, like, if, like, if um like uh, the other group, if they had another plan that was less risky that they were trying to work on, and just Aaron just like just jumping the ship too soon, so that's I just need to know that before yeah, I can fully like sympathize for him. Right, because it feels point. like Aaron's just kind of like Reiner, but two point all. Like that's, that's why he's... they put the line right. like, the same as you, <laughs> Reiner. Right, you know, so I, I don't know. I, I feel like Aaron could still be in a wrong because obviously there, in hindsight, there can always be better ways of accomplishing your goal. Uh, and to be fair, if he's done this multiple times and like she, uh, like I said earlier, you know, like we, you put all your trust in us, but we're losing all our trust in you. Like how many times have he, has he done this, right? So if he's done this multiple times and he's never won their respect or trust back, that means that he's probably not doing something right. So I'm not, I don't know if he's in a clear or not yet, but based on the previews that we were getting for the next week's episode, I'm assuming we're going to get the answers of what Aaron's been doing this whole time. He's trying, bro. Just wait, come back to this segment. I guarantee you guys are going to fall back in love with Aaron. I, th I think our boy is oh, just being I mean, harsh, harshly judged. Yeah, I just, yeah, I can see that happening. I just need like, I, I need more info. I just can't do it now. Based on what we know. Listen, man, Aaron is Fair. GameStop, Fair. and I'm I'm buying more GameStop. And You're I'm going to the moon, baby. Yep, diamond hands, diamond hands, Aaron. Yeah. I mean, it it fits because so, he does have diamond hands. So you're telling me that Aaron is a meme stock? Is that what you're telling me? So I shouldn't have to. Yep. Well, okay. you should. Makes sense. You should. Makes sense. Gotta have faith you in should. the people. 
So yeah. um, earlier you mentioned, Sasha, that you are not, you're not feeling particularly warm hearted towards Gabby. How are you feeling yeah. about like Falco, for example? Because um, I was thinking about it earlier when I watched the episode and it didn't really hit me when I was reading the manga. But when I watched the episode, I thought that the animation that they used, the expressions they used, the music they had during the scene where um, Falco joined Gabby, like going going up onto the airship. And then also right after Sasha got shot to the music in that scene. I thought that all of that was just so well done. And I feel like it really showcased like I thought it was a really brave decision that Falco made following Gabby on there because he didn't he didn't want her to go in the first place. Um, he yeah. wanted her to stay behind. And I just like, I don't know, I, I felt really bad for the kid there. What are your thoughts on the rest of Marley and him? Are they just as bad I, as Gabby? No, no, no. Gabby, I, just since episode one, she's come off as so pretentious and cocky. It's like the <laughs> the dark side in me just wants to see her get crushed by a tank and then like, uh, <laughs> right? But um, Falco, actually, I have a soft spot <clears throat> for him because I like the characters who can think objectively about things. And you can see <laughs> the internal struggle that he's going through, like where Gabby's just made up her mind, right? She's spoon fed and she's been brainwashed and she's wholeheartedly seen her friends die. And maybe I would be a Gabby in real life, but from just a fan perspective, I don't like her because she is that way. And, you know, I've had Aaron. I don't need Aaron 2.0. Um, sure. But with Falco, I really appreciate the fact that he's sitting down and he well, not literally sitting down, but, you know, he's ruminating about what's going on. He's not just saying like these guys are the devils. He saw how Reiner reacted he remembered Aaron's words and he's putting it together and he's like, bro, Aaron's not that bad. I don't think these guys are that bad. And when she was like, these guys are the devils. They killed us. He goes, yeah, because we trampled on them Mm -hmm. first. And she's like, whoa, what are you talking about? Did you see it? I mean, bro, you don't need to see it. This man is telling you in the heat of war that these guys are the same as us. And I think that goes to show the level of thought that 90% of us don't do about anything when it comes to politics, religion, gender, anything like that. Most of us jump to one side and we cling to it. This guy is literally weighing both options equally. So imagine if it, if you got a news feed that said like, oh, this happened at a protest or this happened or that happened, right? Like we all jump to one side naturally because we're like, oh, this person's the right or that person. Falco is the one person who'd like sit back in the room and be like, well, let me ask some more questions before I come to my decision, which I honestly really respect. The fact that he simps for Gabby makes me hate him because I hate Gabby by default, <laughs> but everything else about him is pretty cool. Uh, you know, you know, you, you, you like what you like, bro. What are you, what are you going to do? <laughs> hey man, I'm cool with the man. Mm. Yeah, but no, I, not, I, I'm not cool with the man's wife. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, I guess it makes it makes sense though that uh, we would like him, or he'd be the more clear-headed character of the bunch because uh, he has been one of the characters that's gotten visions of the past or the future or whatever, like in episode one. Um, so it makes me think that it's probably because he's going to be a key figure later on in the story as well. So um, I can kind of see why he's so clear-headed, but otherwise, I. Like, as much as I hate Gabby, I really don't blame her for everything that she's done. Although I do hate the fact that, kind of like Hero, you were saying, she kind of has that, uh, like, she's kind of brainwashed and she has that mentality where she's not, like, open to reason in a sense. She just says, if she didn't see it, then it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, I'm still going to do what I believe is right, even though she's wrong. So, um, yeah. To be fair to her character, though, and like I said, it's just me being a fan and having, like, I like to go extreme with either my love or my hate for characters <laughs> to be fair her whole thing is pride right like she wanted to become the heart and soul and the pride of eldians by becoming the next titan and showing mm-hmm. that her people are worthy of being there and that they shouldn't just be locked up in an interim and zone however it's just not enough gabby and you suck and i hope you die again thanks <laughs> <laughs> yikes so w- i guess kind of as a food for thought like what if it wasn't Sasha that was killed? What if it was like a Connie or a, a Jean or, you know, oh, no. I, I'd be okay with Jean. No, I knew you were going to say that, Brian. <laughs> Damn. God, I knew yeah. that was what? <laughs> if, we, if we had to choose, Jean would be the one to go for me too. Not going to lie. Yeah, not, not Connie? 
As I was talking to some other people, they were like, yeah, Connie, Connie be an easy write off. Listen, man. When he grew Dude. six inches of height, he can't <laughs> die yet, okay? He needs to, he needs <laughs> to experience being The man started tall. living. I, yeah, I just I'm, started living, bro. Come I'm on. like Sasha. Like, I need. I don't really care about the, the main crew. So, yeah, I don't really care about and I mean, the other to, cadets. To be fair, too, like, with everything that the main cadet crew of, like, you know, one, you have um, Aaron, Mikasa, Armin as, like, the main, like, plot armor crew. And then you have, like, the sub plot armor crew of gene connie historia um sasha that you would have hoped for i mean it, it was due time you know obviously nobody wants it to happen but with all the shit they've been through like it had to happen at some point and if i had to put myself in the mind of isayama you would have to think okay who's gonna have the most impact and i'm sure as he was writing the story like he sees these connections that his fan base are having with you know sasha gene connie to some extent and he knew like this is gonna hurt but this is going to be a necessity for moving forward for what he had in mind. So yeah, it probably wouldn't have had the same effect if he just had Flock shot in the back there. Yeah, and and, and to Gene's credit too, when when Flock is out there celebrating, like, yeah, this is the first biggest you know victory for the new Empire of Eldian. Gene's like off to the side, just like I'm so damn tired of like the first battles won. It just continues to harp upon like. That main crew is such over the bullshit of war and battle because that's all they've been doing all these years. And what has it really brought them at the end of the day? Exactly. Yeah. Honestly, say, for me, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say David. when when Flock when he said like the new Alien Empire, I'm like, bro, should you really be saying that? That's kind of dangerous. Like, because yeah, like you're saying, everyone's like really tired of war and like they don't want to keep fighting this. Like, yeah. I, like I know you have to defend yourself and all, but you don't want to call yourself the new Elden Empire. That's just not gonna. Yeah. It was super well. disgraceful as well. If you think about it, like I know they were saying like, oh, it's only six bodies, but look how many of them we killed. And it's like you lost, you know, Erwin. You lost all your comrades who you're basically just saying like their deaths were kind of whatever. It, it's very self centered of him, like you said, David. I'm just like, mm-hmm. yo, you should not yeah. be making these pompous yeah. statements when, you know. <laughs> Tens of hundreds of people have died yeah. to get he to this point. Well, he should have been, been shot. Yeah, yeah, he should have been shot. Totally agree. Like, like, and I, I think okay. that's something Isayama is doing as well. Like he knew, like Flock is just a character that's easy to hate based off his yeah. actions that he's taken. Yeah. If so it's Gabby fitting that he'd do it. I, I I put her into the neutral zone. I, I wouldn't <laughs> like her still, but I'd be like, all right, I don't hate you anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, just yeah. coming from him, like especially since like. He had that history of just like, just, uh, was it like, he didn't want to be in like, he didn't want to like be like, like fighting in the first place because he, he didn't, he hated, or is it, I don't know, like, he hated the group anyways because he thought they made a mistake of like charging in the, into the, was it the, the wall? I forgot the name of the wall. So, but, and then just, just having him say oh, like, yep say like oh we're gonna celebrate the new Elliot empire it's like man you're like the last person to say that you didn't want any of this mm-hmm. <laughs> sounds like someone who needs to get shot you know what i'm saying <laughs> exactly. i agree 100 yeah, yeah. Not, not potato yeah. girl not me not niku girl you know what i'm saying that's just mm, yeah, well, niku is a shame i know that's I what i'm saying yeah. yep yeah Another thing that happened this episode too though is that we had learned who was the person that led um peak and Yes. Porco into the into the, yeah. the good hole. good old Armin. <laughs> yep, good old Armin. <laughs> Seven foot tall Armin turns out to be that Rocky Balboa's wife. I'm like, what is this, man? So not Rocky, Sylvester Stallone. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, to me, honestly, I think she's Annie reincarnated. That's my that's my big uh, wild. Theory. Annie's still in a crystal. Bro, I think they sucked some of that crystal juice out and put it into this girl. <laughs> there we go. Hundred uh, yeah. percent. You got Hanji with that crystal for three years. You don't think she's like drilling in there, cutting off a piece of her elbow or something, and shoving it in this girl's mouth and like, yes, we've recreated. Look, it's yelling. Uh, let's just give there her generic. Her name. So did they say the name this episode. I missed that. They did. Anyway, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they had the scene where uh, Macbeth is talking to Peak and like he's like, "Where is Falco and Gabby or whatever?" And they're like, "Whatever." And then. They're like, he's like, oh, by the way, like, I remembered this individual that was one of Zeke's agents. And she did like a flashback of how she was on a ship, like the, one of the survey ships that went missing when it went to Paradise. Peak was saying like, oh, I recognized her from those years ago with that fake beard. So they did tie into like how Yelena's identity was known. 
But I, I'm just getting tired of Peak knowing, like, everything and just remembering all this bullshit. Oh, you're the only it, one because Reddit apparently is in love with her. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, they're in love with her. But from, like, a, I feel like she's just a tool for Isayama to explain, like, everything to Marley. Yeah, because I mean, she's she, basically, she's kind of like, cool. neutral enough that you can kind of just, like, have her do some exposition. Yeah. It seems like, oh. I don't know. Remember, guys, she's a genius. She knew that machine guns was the 3D carries <laughs> most. Yes. Yeah. Biggest weakness. That's right. Yes. She, oh, she's too funny. OP. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. Also, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just... <laughs> God, I just hated this. I mean, maybe he was right. Maybe, maybe there was a reason why Potato Girl was shot. Because man, I was so angry. I was like, why? Why'd have to be right, bro? Oh my god, fucking Gabby. I hope ooh, like when they're beating her, I was like, yeah, get her. <laughs> yeah, get her. Yeah, get her. Up, boys, let's yeah. go. <laughs> Lay the smack down. I was hoping for a steel chair to be thrown at her back. Something Dude, I was waiting for I was waiting for something, bro. I was waiting for like a flying jump kick to go in. Or is something to be thrown at her, like a potato just thrown at her. I don't know, bro. But God, I, oh, dude, that that scene fucked me up for a good ten minutes, bro. Mm. True, that dude. was heavy. Aaron, mm. Aaron's laugh was always hard to watch. That messed me up for the next ten minutes, bro. It, it reminded me of the Joker's laugh, Joaquin Phoenix's version. Mm-hmm. I was just expecting Aaron to pull out a card and be like, hey, guys, I have a disease that makes me laugh like this. And they're like, this is why we lost trust in you. And just like nosedive the Zeppelin into the ocean. Uh, that would have been the best ending to the series. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Willie. Willie was a good guy. So I'm, I'm assuming that we're just going to go back to the island and everything's going to happen from the island this point forward, right? From the looks of the preview, it looks like it's spoiling too much. But well, I mean, now we're gonna go. I mean, I don't want to give anything away, but now we're basically just gonna learn. We're gonna fill in the gaps of what happened with yeah the island crew. Yeah, the formula formulation of the plan. And if you think, well, yeah, I'll just leave it there. But okay, um, cool. Tanya, Aaron, about to earn massive respect <laughs> back from everybody. All you judges out there. I got his back, okay? I want to be let I mean, it I, I, let I, it be known. Hey, I'm willing to change my mind. I'm just saying they just give me the info. So I'll wait till next Bro, week. No, no, no. That's like that's like saying, yeah, I'm gonna put my money in the GameStop, but I need a guarantee of three hundred percent back, okay? <laughs> oh, the same thing as you gotta, that. Dude, it, that's literally the exact same okay. thing. Yep. <laughs> Melvin Capital can <laughs> short squeeze these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Melvin Capital, Marley. There we go. Oh man, uh, what an episode! Yeah, what indeed. Episode. I don't have anything it's else. It's strange to say, that so. everything took place on a zeppelin. When you think about it, uh, I'm just gonna close that door. I would have kept that door shut that Levi was in. <laughs> they, yeah. they just like keep knocking. But yep, good old Attack on Titan, man. This is. Everyone can die. Everyone can die. Everyone can die. Yeah. I think the only last piece that I would say, and literally doesn't matter, but uh, I'll be interested to see as telling Taylor if Attack on Titan will pass Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood on my anime list. Oh my god! It's point. Trends. It's point Trends. one rating Favorite away. Website. Yep. Favorite. Why is? Will it? the people overthrow the quote unquote oh, king? Jesus. Watch. I bet you they overthrow it by the end of this season, and then. Depending upon how it ends, we'll see it either like take some distance away from it or uh, completely just yeah. crack. I don't know it. how often the number one spot has changed, but I feel like it's been Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood for, for like forever, ever since it, it finished. Came out like ten years ago, yeah. I know. So I could see both sides uh, starting to like try to like uh, torpedo sort of war of like kind of put yeah. it, yeah, push it. So everybody's getting like ones and zeros who don't watch it. If <laughs> That'll be fun in its own thing. regard. I'm not gonna lie, I just put my scores a one just to see if it would change the number or not it didn't. It, it, it's gonna take more than than one yeah but. you never know man i could be the tipping point yeah you've been sure. eating fortune cookies bro that's not how the world works <laughs> that grain of rice doesn't amount to shit sir all right you're special all right no matter wow. what they say these words can't bring me down that, that's probably oh, what yeah. connie said to her Dude, I, 
Have you noticed <laughs> that trend in anime or just in shows? One like sweet, sincere moment, and then bam, that person dies. When Connie was like, "Let's all group hug, guys. I'm glad nobody died." <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> like what Taylor mom. specifically that's said. Like, uh... You guys are my only Dude. friends. I don't care about anybody else. It's you guys. And then rip. Watch. So, so theoretically, it was Connie's fault. Don't hate Gabby. Fuck, don't fuck ever. <laughs> Bro, I still don't like, like Connie watched, either. The man the put episode, her in the grave. <laughs> I know. When I watched the episode, I was like, Connie, shut up. I was like, Sasha, get away from the door. Like, move away. Uh, <laughs> you know what would have been even better is when he hugged her, he put like a sticker right where that bullet was supposed to go. Oh my God. And then when Gabby came on, she's looking where to aim. You nah. see like Connie in the corner. <laughs> nah, man, away. it would have been it would have been better when Gene fired the shot at uh, Gabby and it ricocheted off and then it hit Connie inadvertently and then he killed Connie. And it's like, <laughs> oh, dude, that would just solidify my hatred for him. Easy. Wait, you hate him? Who? Gene? John? Gene? Han? Gene, John, John, whatever. We're talking about John. We're talking about Connie. Why do you hate uh, John so much, bro? I don't know, man. It's just I feel it's just the haircut, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. I support you, Brian. The bullet ain't Listen, doing it. I do not support yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah. you know, I, we right. need to write some more hate mail to the creators of the show. Okay, thanks. The donut, oh. the donut guy. You're just yeah. upset because you don't have that much for like girls and whatnot this season. Okay, that you're just upset. Well, they, they have <laughs> that may be true, but that's not completely yeah. true. Okay, all right. Like, yes. listen, like we've, uh, we've got Aaron, we've got Levi, we've got John, we're, oh, we're yeah. and Connie. Even now at this point, like we're like, we're doing okay. I I lo- I, lo- I loved Levi when he was talking to Zeke, and he was just like, "I like to see to save the best piece of meat for last." And Zeke's just oh. like, "Oh fuck me." Oh, and you saw the salami lake? Yeah, we know. Yeah, he's just like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. But just Levi being like, "Bitch, you dying on my terms. I don't care what anybody else says. You are mine. I oh, ain't forgot." <laughs> and then Zeke's like, I-, "I just made some miscalculations," and then just completely breaks down and starts <laughs> cradling back and forth, whispering miscalculations over and over again. <laughs> Take oh, a strong shit. hand. Oh wait, you can't because you got yeah. no hands. Yeah, that would have been the best. Hey, man. Uh, that whole crew. Still can be. Dude, what about uh, Onion Capowombo or whatever his name is? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Onion Capone? Come on, man. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to learn to love that guy. Trust. Dude, I just heard like Onion Cup and I was like, dude, I'm in. That guy's, <laughs> <laughs> that guy's my fourth favorite character. <laughs> bro, my bro, my onion friend cup? thought he was Onion Bongo. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Oh shit! Dude. Like we need to, it, we need to stop. There's an '80s band named Oingo Boingo. That, that so maybe, maybe that's what you're singing of. Fair enough, yeah. Sasha, yeah. who are your top three favorite characters? Um, Mikasa, 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 <laughs> and then Onion <laughs> Cup. <laughs> oh, no. oh shit! Oh, dude. Never mind. Who are your three favorite characters? Me? Yes. Oh. uh... Shit. <laughs> Sorry, we on the spot. We could, we could, we could. All right. Uh, how about, how about Brian? I, I was going to say Mikasa times three, but you know, uh, Sasha already beat me to the punch. Um... <laughs> Dude, you, you, I'll let you borrow it. That's okay. What? All right. Well, does anyone else have anything you want to <laughs> add to AOT? Otherwise, we got to wrap this let, up. Let me put oh, a race geez, car yeah. behind you. What? <laughs> We're good. What? All right, boys. Thank you for coming. Times <laughs> <laughs> on two on Sundays. And, Yo, uh, yeah. <laughs> just sit in my basement with my hands wrapped around because nobody <laughs> trusts me anymore. <laughs> Not too. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, for there. Thanks. Right. Uh, thanks right, everybody. Always, thanks for joining. Nope. Thanks for. All we had discussions. Everybody, well, if your next job interview goes poorly, just cut your hand and start transforming so <laughs> tight. That too. Believe Say, on, I need to keep moving forward. Leave, leave yep. on that last piece of life advice for y'all. So, uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 <laughs>
you just see like Julia guarding a box? It looks like the one in Attack of Titan where they keep the spinal fluid, except it's just your calf steroids. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, babe, no matter uh, what happens, no matter what happens with the riots and the protests, don't let him get that. <laughs> And then, like, <laughs> your your entire body is just crushed, and she ejects it into your calves, <laughs> and you just, like, leap out of the rubble. You're like, yes, yes. Oh, oh man. man. Sounds like steroids, dude. dude. It'll be the new Titan, man. Just the, just yeah. the calf Titan. The calf Titan. Yeah. Those poor uh. staff members. I was seeing, there was, like, some guy on YouTube that compiled, like, a bunch of the comments that people were leaving on Twitter, like, Threatening the lives of like specific illustrators and animators who didn't, yeah, some of them didn't even work on the show. And there was the, they, uh, like, they had a, an, an official announcement, I think, from one of the <laughs> like companies that was just like, "Yo, y'all need to stop." Yeah, it's <laughs> like, embarrassing and disgusting. <laughs> I can just what see, are you? <laughs> like some deranged fan going into his pastry shop. Fuck you, man! Attack a Titan. Fuck you. He's like, dude, I just make your donuts. What do you want? 